2020, new cycle, new year, new beginning. Om Nityananda Paramahansa I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramahansa So uh, this is my declaration, my message for 2020. Um, I wanted to share this uh, very powerful cognition that I, uh, I cognized. I started to cognize some time back by being with Swamiji and to make that declaration the happening of 2020. In the year 2020, let us all come back to the space of pure consciousness, the space of Paramashivoham, and radiate that space of Paramashivoham. I want to share one click I got uh, that will be aligned and give you perhaps more context about what I mean by the space of Paramashivoham. Um, how we are deluded and not aligned to that space of Paramashivoham, even though it is our Fundament, it, is, it is the fundamental reality of each and, one, and every one of us. Life is a, a play, a drama. Life is a... Yeah, it's, it's a play, it's a drama. We are super consciousness, whether we forgot it, decided to, avoiding to remember or not, deciding to forget or not, we are super consciousness. And that is the, the reality of each one of us. And from that space, we manifest this body, this life, time, everything around us, and naturally the experience that we have about ourselves. The thing is that super consciousness is a very intense frequency, it's an intense vibration. And what happens is, when we come down and we assume the body because we want to exhaust a certain type of desire, um, we start to play a game, a role. We start to associate ourselves to the body. We start to associate ourselves to our intellect, to our conclusions, to our mind, to parents, to houses, to country, to nationality, and the more we grow, the more we associate ourselves to various things. But the thing is that, in reality, we are super-consciousness, and super-consciousness is a space of pure possibility. You can be whatever you want. But the thing is that when we start to make a decision, especially young as a child, because we are closer from that frequency of super-consciousness, if you decide to say, okay, I am a human, if you associate yourself to that, you start to believe that intensely. You engage with your association so intensely that you actually pretend to forget that you are super consciousness. You play the role of a human being so well that you yourself forget that you are something else than a human. And that is the biggest delusion we fall into. We are so intense in the roles, in the decisions we make, we play, that we forget that we are beyond that. We only start to want to remember that when we start to experience sufferings in our lives and we want to go beyond that. Only then we start to realize that we have frozen ourselves into small conclusions or ideas which are preventing us to access the space of possibility change, rejuvenation, and bliss. And then when we start to suffer a little bit too much, we start to question and slowly we start to become ferocious with ourselves and we start to discard these associations, these roles that we have assumed because we are starting to realize that we are so caught in the roles that, that we assumed that we are starting to experience some forms of powerlessness and we don't want that. So we, come, we seek that space of Paramashivoham back. So I, it really clicked with me when, I, when Swamiji was talking about that and he was referring various things in various satsangs. And um, it's really like we are intensely playing a drama and we forgot that we are the source of that. We are not the role that we decided to play in it. Uh, when we are conscious, the more and more we are conscious that we are playing the role inside this lila, this play, um, the play of the divine, then, uh, then we can unclutch and come back to a space 
of Paramashivoham. So in 2020, you know, the declaration I want to make for myself and invite you to make uh, for yourself is let us realize experientially that we are beyond the roles that we play. We might have decided to play these roles for various reasons. The role of being a human, the role of being a male, a female, the role of being an Asian, an American, a European, the role of being an artist or, or a physicist or a scientist or a monk or whatever. We have to unclutch from these roles and start to perhaps reevaluate, you know, what types of roles we want to play, what kind of reality we want to experience. And let us all come back to the space of Paramashivoham, the space of pure consciousness, which is beyond all roles and which can assume all roles uh, whenever it wants, for how many time it wants, for how long it wants, and so on and so, or, so forth. So let's be in that space of pure powerfulness. A small example I want to share. In the Upanishads, Swamiji gave, he was narrating this story, uh, when he was talking about the unclutching experience he had with his guru, Arunagiri Yogeshwara. And in the Upanishads, there's a story of a bird in a tree, two birds in a tree. So there's a bird on top, gold radiating this golden hue, this golden uh, pure color and expression. And that bird simply remains within himself, seated within himself in the space of eternal bliss, and in oneness with Paramashiva. And there's another bird who is playing in the lower branches of the tree. So naturally this golden bird is on top of the tree. And there's another bird on the lower branches of the tree. And this bird is just, you know, hopping from branches to branches, from tree to tree, eating some fruits here and there, you know, sweet. And he experiences life or, you know, the ups and downs of life, the pleasures and pains of life, the joys and sorrows of life. And sometimes he eats a very good fruit and he's like, oh my God, this fruit is so good, I want more. And he keeps finding more fruits and then at some point he eats a bitter fruit and he's like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever, I never want to experience this again. And then at that moment he looks up and he sees this bird in this ecstasy, this pure bliss. And, um, and he's just like, oh my God, I want that. And then that bird, you know, he just decides to jump a little higher, a branch, upper branch, upper branch. And as he, as he is jumping and getting closer to that bird, suddenly he sees another fruit and he's like, oh, let me have try one fruit, one more. And then he bites the fruit. Oh, this fruit is so good. And then he goes again into this whole drama, this whole cycle of going from fruit to fruit until he hits a bitter fruit. And he's like, oh, no, never want to have this fruit again in my life. And then he looks up and he comes closer to the bird. And at some point, he comes to a point where he eats, he, he eats such a bitter fruit that he's like, I am done. I do not want to experience this anymore. I am going to experience a space that is totally different and with that ferociousness he just stops seeing all the fruits he just sees the golden bird hops towards the golden bird and the closer he gets to the bird the more he realizes that this bird is him it is his true nature it is the space of Paramashivoham so that's the story I want to share with you. Uh, it's a very impactful story. When I heard it from Swamiji, it really impacted me. So I wanted to share with you. And I'll put the link of the satsang also where Swamiji tells this story and his initiation with his guru, Arunagiri Yogeshwara. And uh, actually Arunagiri Yogeshwara, for those who don't know, is an incarnation of Lord Shiva who resides in the mountain of Arunachala. And Arunachala is one of the holiest mountains in India. It is the actually the body itself of uh, Shiva. So yes, so I'll put the link in the description below. Very important video. 2020 guys, let's realize we're Paramashivoham. The sweet fruits are the good experiences we have in life, the joys, the excitements we have, and the bitter fruits are the suffering, the sadness, the sorrows. And at some point we just have to decide, I want to experience something beyond sadness and sorrows. I want to stop associating myself to all the roles that I've decided to play with since the beginning and I want to come back to the space of Paramashivoham, oneness with Paramashiva and oneness with everything that is around us and be that golden bird. So 2020 guys, that's my message. Uh, I am inviting you to leave your declarations for 2020. Uh, sorry, 2020. Yes, 
uh, put your declarations in the comments below. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified. Uh, at least a video a day I upload. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanking you for watching. Since this 2019, I restarted this channel and this channel is going to continue. So I am very uh, happy about this whole happening and uh, inviting you to share these videos with your friends if it can uh, help them or if you feel they're useful, uh, which I think they are because they're useful to me. So I'm coming to the conclusion that they are useful to you too. So with this, I am seeing you in the next video, 2020. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Aham Brahmasmi Nityanandam. Uh -huh.